The DP World Tour is at wonderful Bernardus Golf for the 102nd edition of the Dutch Open. Third shot into the final hole for Kilhonan. Oh! Into the final hole, literally. Beautiful stuff. Yes, take a bow indeed. Second eagle of the back nine for the Finn. That's a nice way to finish. Look at Victor Perez here, third at the par 4 16th. Go on. Yes. He has. Beautifully done. Three birdies in his last five there. That's a nice move to four under par. A couple behind now. Rasmus Hoiger among the morning starters. He finished up here at the ninth. And he finished up nicely as well. A tap-in birdie. Yes, Latin, another man who's familiar with this course. Lives in Rotterdam about an hour and a half away, but comes down here a couple of times a week to grease the great practice facilities putting from the lower level little right to lefter he's got another one as well three birdies in the first five for the two-time dutch open champion from the netherlands 146 yards for joost latin after a splendid tee shot but it is in a sand filled divot he seems a bit concerned with the strike he's going out with a wedge just needs to trap the ball first and a little bit steeper on it Do need to find divots a bit more often. Lovely shot that. 44 feet it is. There's the yeah, break. Yeah. It's about yeah, four yeah. or five yeah, feet. Yeah. Oh, go! Yeah. What an effort! in it at all it was like a slow that lazy mess. lip out yes. that's an excellent birdie and a superb day for Larson and it very much looks as though a home hero is going to end this first day at the top of the leaderboard but unfortunately he double bogeyed the first and bogeyed the second so this was really a bounce back birdie but the third Birdie putt for the big, tall Frenchman, Victor Perez. Good day, yes, that's a lovely played shot. Even better, in you go, you beauty. No putts required there. He had 25 putts yesterday, he's third in putts per round. Yeah. Good, straight at it. Oh, good shot. <laughs> Eagle attempt here to get to within one of the lead for Gavea. Round he come. Oh, and he's done it as well. What a beautiful putt. Eight under par alongside Matt Wallace. Back to the 16th, second shot of Gavea. <laughs> Great stuff, that to join the lead. And what about How Tong Lee, Richard? Well, I'll tell you, this is first of all, this is for his birdie at the eighth. He started at the tenth. He was out in 29 with the three birdies, and this was for his par. And all that adds up to around the 63. 34 home, 29 out. Very impressive. Look at that. Aron came up just a little bit shy of the tenth green with his pitch shot. 
up a little ridge and then turning at the top. Oh, great yeah. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Laurent takes the lead. Australian Scott Handy just birded the third. This Richard at the par five fourth. Yeah, driver off the deck, pitched it a little short. May not have got it right out the middle of the club, but plenty of run. It's quite lengthy this course, and so you'll go to the back of the green. There's a roll down area at the back of the green there, and this hasn't finished yet. Round it comes, and good enough for an eagle. Third is a drivable par four. Second shot here of Miliozzi. And played well. Better than that, he hasn't, has he? Never up, never in. As we are head to ten, and Ryan Fox. Yeah, three would off the tee, just coming up a little bit short. He's got a wonderful short game. Proved it again there. <laughs> Wallace for his birdie at the third. I have to say that's gone in. Very nice. From Matt Wallace. So he'll be knocking this one in low and trying to run it up that slope at just the right speed. Above his feet, and then he's got to gauge the break as well from right to left. <laughs> Wonderful touch. And we saw the second shot of Perez was a little bit uh, an awkward like, came up short of the first green. Quite some humps and hollows to negotiate here. Oh. Well, there you go, that's your break of the day, that's your break of the week, that might even be your break of the season. Over to uh, the 13th hole, and Victor Perez putting through the little channel. Hello. Oh, lovely stuff from Perez. <laughs> so he moves to 11 under, but he's at 12. And at 13 for the Frenchman. Hello. Uh, you wouldn't. Oh, that's outrageous, isn't it? What a par from Matt Wallace. Well, you can't see the ball here, which is kind of worrying. I mean, he's going to need to, to really go at this to get it out. If you can't see the top of the ball, this is risky. Oh, dear. Five and Ryan Fox. Look where he's aiming, Anthony. Yeah, tough to putt this. This is pretty quick at the end. Left to right all the way, tracking back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got to say what's gone on over the last couple of holes. There's your winner. Yeah, that birdie at number 11 from over the back of the green. Then that whole putt. He has leapfrogged Perez to 14 under par. Victor Perez leaving the flag in, as he's entitled to do these days under the new rules. Coming downhill here, quite sharply downhill, left to right, gently breaking throughout. Goes through quite an interesting pre-shot routine where he's working on his alignment, making sure he's everything's parallel. Another birdie for Perez, so he nudges ahead. Birdies, Perez to 12 under. And it is to tie the lead. Come on! And he has got it. He has putted so well from distance this week. He'd only one, didn't it, this golf course? 
from that sort of length and a bit longer he's had two or three that have shaved the edge looked like they were going in and now he has a chance to steal this from Ryan Fox well he's done it before can he do it again good pace is turning into a remarkable playoff. Well, it's been a little bit like a magic wand for Victor Perez over the last hour and a half or so. So what can he conjure here? So it's always a lovely sound when it comes off the putter. I mean, I'm almost speechless. That is just sensational from the Frenchman. A victory for that man, for Victor Perez. In the most amazing fashion, it really was. What a display on the greens! It's a second DP World Tour right here. Yes, yeah. Two and a half years after winning the Alfred go? Dunhill Links <laughs> Championship, he's back in the winners' circle. Let's hear from our champion. Victor, congratulations. Can you believe it? You're the 2022 Dutch Open champion, finishing in dramatic style. How are you feeling? Yeah, um, really hard to tell, obviously. I, I mean, there's a fair amount of fortune. I, I got to be honest with myself, holding out all those long putts, um, you know, in the playoff and went back and hit, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to put into words because it's just a long day and Ryan was off and flying for a while and we, have, we didn't even really thought we had a chance, you know, when that coming down 16 and probably knew I needed to birdie the last three it's really eagle to to eagle 18 is almost impossible with the, the left pin and the left to right win and um, and yeah James told me just don't, don't look up at the board and then we saw I hold the one on 17 uh, be able to come through um, and then yeah the playoff was just a bit of magic when you bogeyed 10 Ryan Fox pretty much made a charge going birdie and eagle from the 11th hole what was going through your mind at that point no I, I just tried to focus on me um, all day. I mean, that's all I can do. I was trying to to keep a champion mindset and and uh, hit good shots after good shots. And and the chips were going to fall where they were going to fall. It's almost impossible to predict what's going to happen in golf. Um, guys come out of nowhere and win tournaments. Guys take huge lead, and then uh, you just kind of have to focus on you, which is a lot what people say, and not look at the board. And um, it's just fortunate to fall on the good side today. Golf is an individual sport, but your girlfriend flew out this morning from Scotland and she's part of your team. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I couldn't be happier for her to, to be here and, and, and we can just share this together. He was right on the great moments. Engraved on that trophy, the likes of Seviano Ballesteros, Bernard Langer, Jose Maria Bonacabra, Payne Stewart, Colin Montgomery and more as the 102nd Dutch Open champion. Well done, Victor Perez. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.